Hello everybody, this is Pastor Tom. Welcome you to another study in the Word, our 13th session on wisdom and faith, five minute session. And I want to make sure that I do not skip around too fast or go too fast because it's so important for you to understand these principles. Now, one of the things about Jesus and God that we see immediately if you read the Bible is that there's certain things that will not work in our lives if we are in any kind of unforgiveness or we hold anything against anybody. We're in offense, we're in bitterness, we're not uh, getting along with our spouses, whatever the case may be. We're not walking in the level of love that God requires us to do so for where we are in our lives. It's very important. And I tell people all the time, uh, this is very, this is vital. And if you're going to be strong in faith and your words are going to work and you're going to cast out demons and you're going to move mountains, you've got to be able, you got to be a love person. Now, I want you to go again to Jude and uh, uh, right before you get to Revelation. And uh, I want to read these scriptures again and, and talk a little bit about them in the next two sessions because they're so vital. Uh, and it says, in verse 20, but you beloved, building up your, your up yourselves on your most holy faith, Praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God. Okay, so this is very important here. In in the two scriptures go together. First of all, you got to pray in the Holy Ghost. Praying in tongues will cause your spirit to, and to be built up and be strong. And uh, there's a scripture in Romans chapter um, five, verse five, that says, "The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost." And um, sometimes Bible teachers give the impression that that only happens one time. No, I think it happens all the time. What happens is, let's say you face a very difficult situation where somebody is doing you wrong, baby. And I've been there. I know what that's like. Maybe you get betrayed. Somebody steals money from you. Uh, oh, God, I've had so many things happen to me in my life. And they're difficult situations. You, you know, your natural way of responding is to get vengeance and, uh, you know, uh, I want to kill somebody. But you can't do it that way if you're going to be strong in faith. So what you got to do is understand you've got to be able to forgive them. By praying in tongues, I believe what happens is, let's say somebody wrongs me and I'm having a hard time with it. You know, and I go to the Lord and I said, Lord, now I prayed and I asked uh, and, and I forgave them. Uh, best I know how to do right now. I forgave them, but I keep getting bombarded with thoughts. I'm angry on the inside. And I say to the Lord, Lord, I need your help. The Bible says, um, sometimes we don't know how to pray as we ought. So I can pray in the Holy Ghost. And so I say, Lord, I'm going to pray that in this situation in tongues, and you please help me. And I begin to do that. Well, I believe what's happening there is God is releasing that love. It's a uh, it's being a shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost as you're praying. The more you're praying, the more you're praying. To bring that love up to the level that you have, to, you need to to deal with that very difficult situation. Now, this is one of the keys, I believe, to being strong in faith that people don't understand. If you're never praying in tongues much, then you're not building yourself up. And sometimes these principles that Jesus talked about are not going to work for you because you're still in doubt or you're still in fear or you're still, you know, you still don't have that love operating to the level that is necessary in that situation to be able to move them out or to be able to get through that situation or to be able to forgive really from the heart and be able to operate, you know, get healed up in your mind and everything. So praying in tongues becomes absolutely vital. I began to find this out years ago when I first went through some very, very fiery and severe trials in my life with other people, other Christians that hurt me and even threatened my life and so on. I had to really reach deep down inside. And this is where God taught me this. If you'll do that and begin to pray in the spirit, and just mention their names. Lord, I want to pray for so-and-so. And, -so, and I want uh, anything that needs to be prayed for. I know the Bible says, Pray for those who despitefully use you and wrong you. Uh, bless them that curse you. You know, do good to them that hurt you and all that. So I'm going to do that right now. Please use these prayers to help this person to remove the blinders so they don't do this activity anymore. Lord, in Jesus' name, and I begin to pray. Well, it does two things. First of all, it begins to heal us on the inside and, and give us the, the capacity to walk in love, to forgive, to let go. Secondarily, it prays for those people who really need our prayers because if they continue down the way they're going, they're going to end up in some very tragic things in life. And I know this from experience, 42 years of it. So let's 
make sure we pray much in the Holy Ghost. Until next time, God bless you.